Alright, the Conjurer build pretty much allows you to add magic into your weapons. Now, I currently use ice. Now, obviously, this looks ugly. Let's be honest. It looks like a lump of meat. It looks like a brain. It does not look good. But just because it doesn't look good doesn't mean it's not good. Now, currently, the build I'm using is Ice Conjurer. Now, like I said, this pretty much allows you to add magic into your weapons. Now, that's at a cost due to the fact that you can't add any points into the other slots. I Meaning you can't add any points in vitality and strength because obviously you're using you're only using your weapon and magic so you gotta focus on those two stats now the stats that i have right now are low-key kind of decent they're not the best i decided to go 120 in magic rather than 130 in magic so i can unlock all my sword skills depending on the sword i actually get and then i didn't get the awakening but i did get more aspects for weapons so that's why i went 130 in weapons and I put 120 in magic. For the best stats, in my opinion, I would definitely tell you guys to go 200 in weapon and 50 in magic. I feel like that's much better due to the fact that this build does reduce your M1 damage. Now, now that's at a cost because since it does reduce your M1 damage, you might think it might enhance something else, which it actually does. And it enhances its hitbox and magical attack. So pretty much, this is a quick example. That's just one attack. And look how much destruction it was able to cause. It also has increased power on it too it does it does good i feel like a lot of people think that just because it reduces m1 damage it's automatically gonna be garbage but i actually think that's false i feel like with it reducing m1 damage but enhancing every aspect of your weapon i feel like it's much much better another attack each attack gets enhanced now this is goaded um actually i'm gonna show you guys what i mean with an npc all right okay we got him also there isn't no cooldown you can just keep your magic on your weapon infinitely okay this guy's already laying attacks calm your roll i'm use this hold that yeah use this now, in my opinion, using magic with this build kind of will be hard due to the fact that you're going to be vulnerable for them to attack you. And this is the type of NPC that just dashes away. Kind of annoying, but... Right there. Use E. Q. Switch to my M1. And dead. Just like that. Now, obviously, I did lose a lot of HP, and like I said, because I have no points in vitality, that means we are going to take a lot of damage. Now, I know a lot of people are wondering, okay, you know what, does this build have any drawbacks? Now, sadly, it does. Now, because we don't have a level increase yet, meaning we cannot go over level 125 right now, um, we couldn't get our Magical Awakening. Now, imagine this. A Magical Awakening with a conjure ice build or any other magic it'll be crazy it'll be crazy so until they actually increase the level cap we can't get our awakening but with all the magic i have right now i can actually get this move which is really really good for these type of conjure builds because you can easily get to your opponent and i feel like it's actually a decent thing to be using another drawback i would say but i feel like this is a drawback with almost any type of build is definitely hp obviously we're not putting any points in vitality because why would we we're just going to be costing our build so obviously just because of that we need to make sure we get the best armor as possible so i would recommend people if you're going to type of build definitely go fishing a lot try to get sunken armor and on top of that try to do a little like side quest go looking for treasure open as much as possible so you can get the best loot as possible